Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about Pascal's Triangle. Consider the binomial expansion of a plus b quantity raised to n. If n is equal to 0, then the binomial a plus b quantity raised to 0 will be equal to 1. If n is equal to 1, then the binomial a plus b quantity raised to 1 will be equal to a plus b. When n is equal to 2, the binomial a plus b raised to 2 is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Moreover, if n is equal to 3, then the binomial a plus b quantity raised to 3 will be equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. If n is equal to 4, then a plus b quantity raised to 4 will be equal to a raised to 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus b raised to 4. If n is equal to 5, then a plus b quantity raised to 5 will be equal to a raised to 5 plus 5a raised to 4b plus 10a cubed b squared plus 10a squared b cubed plus 5ab raised to 4 plus b raised to 5. From this set of examples, we may notice the following. There are n plus 1 terms in the expansion of a plus b quantity raised to n. Meaning, if the value of n, for example, is 0, then there would be one term in its simplified form. If the value of n is 1, then the resulting expression will have two terms. If the value of n is 2, then the resulting expression will have three terms. If n is equal to 3, then we will have 4 terms on the simplified expression, and so on and so forth. Also, notice that the powers of a in successive terms decrease by 1. Notice, for example, for n equals 5, notice that the powers of a became 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0 for the last term. And the powers of B in successive terms increase by 1. So in this example, notice the exponents of B. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Furthermore, the coefficients of both the first term and the last term are 1. And the coefficients of the terms are symmetric. Let us now consider the numerical coefficients of each terms in the following expressions. Notice that each coefficient other than 1 is the sum of the neighboring numbers immediately above it. So notice that we have 2 here when we add 1 plus 1 which are the neighboring numbers above it. 1 plus 2 is 3, the same thing here. 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4. Also, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 4 plus 1 is 5. These numerical coefficients form the what we call Pascal's triangle. These are the steps in binomial expansion using Pascal's triangle. The first step, extend the Pascal's triangle up to the required row. Number two, write down the terms without coefficients of the expansion. Number three, write down the coefficient of each term obtained in step two. 
And number four, add all the terms in step three. Let us try to solve this example. Expand the expression x plus 2 quantity cubed using Pascal's triangle. The first thing that we need to do is to determine the numerical coefficients of the expansion. Since we have here n equals 3, and remember that when n is equal to 0, then the expression will be equal to 1. When n is equal to 1, then the numerical coefficients are both 1 and 1. When n is equal to 2, then the numerical coefficients would be 1, 2, which is the sum of 1 plus 1, and then another 1. When n is equal to 3, then the numerical coefficients are 1, 3, 3, and 1. Now, we will stop here since we have already acquired the given exponent. The next step is to determine the terms of the expansion. Remember that the number of terms of the expansion is equal to n plus 1. Since n is equal to 3, therefore, we will have four terms, wherein the first term would be a cubed, the next term would be a squared b because remember that the exponent of a is in decreasing order and the exponent of b would be in increasing order and the next one will be a b squared and the last one is b cubed here notice that we already have four terms and we will be writing these numerical coefficients here so we will have 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 moreover going back to our given x plus 2 quantity cube notice that a is equal to x and b is equal to 2 so what we will do is substitute x to a and 2 to b. So, we will have x cubed plus 3 x squared times 2 plus 3 times x times 2 squared plus 2 cubed. Next is to simplify each term. So, we will have x cubed plus 3 times 2 is 6x squared plus 3 times x plus 2 squared is 12x and 2 cubed is 8. Therefore, the expanded form of the given is x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8. Let us have another example. Expand the expression x minus 3y quantity raised to 4 using Pascal's triangle. Looking at your given, you have here n equals 4. Then, writing the numerical coefficients, we will have n equals 0, that would be equal to 1. n equals 1, then we will have 1, 1 n equals 2, then we will have 1, 2, and 1. n equals 3, then we will have 1, 3, 3, and 1. And n equals 4, we will have 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Next step, write down the terms. Since we have n equals 4, then the first term would be a raised to 4, followed by a cubed b, followed by a squared b squared, followed by a b cubed, and finally, for the last term, we have b raised to 4. Next, write down the numerical coefficients here, then the terms would be 
1 a raised to 4 plus 4 a cube b plus 6 a squared b squared plus 4 a b cube and plus b raised to 4. Going back to our given, since we have x minus 3 y raised to 4, then it follows that a is equal to x and b is equal to negative 3y. So let us write them down. And we will be substituting a and b to our formula here. Therefore, if we will do that, then we will have x raised to 4 plus 4 times x raised to 3 times negative 3y plus for the next term we will have 6x raised to 2 times negative 3y raised to 2 plus for the fourth term we will have 4 times x times negative 3 raised to 3 and finally for the fourth term we will have negative 3y raised to 4. Next step, let us simplify each term. For the first term, we already have x raised to 4. For the next term, we have 4 times x cubed times negative 3y. So we will have negative 12x cubed y. For the third term, we will have x times x squared times negative 3 y squared. Remember that negative 3 y squared is equal to 9 y squared. 9 times 6 will give us positive 54 then x squared y squared. For the next term, we have 4 times x times negative 3 y cubed. Remember that negative 3y cubed is equal to negative 27y cubed. Negative 27y cubed times positive 4 is equal to negative 108xy cubed. And finally, negative 3y quantity raised to 4 would be equal to positive 81y raised to 4. Therefore, this is the expanded form of the given binomial expansion. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about binomial theorem. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.